right, next up we're going to do inverse sine of 1.36. So this is an inverse trig function, and inverse trig functions are defined by radians only. So I would need to make sure my calculator is in radians. And this almost looks like a question from a minute ago. Inverse sine we get from second sine, <coughs> 1.36. It's not hard to type in. And here's where the question takes a little bit of a turn. The calculator is going to get confused. It's not going to know what to do. And so you got to think about why that is. All right, well, the answer to this question is that it's not possible. Um, so think about what an inverse function is trying to achieve so you understand why it's not possible. Um, inverse trig function, you're trying to input a ratio and output an angle. So you're saying what angle has a sine of 1.36? Well, if you think on the unit circle or the sine graph, either one, um, the biggest value that it can be is 1, and the smallest value that it can be is negative 1. So we like to say the range of sine is negative uh, 1 to 1. So this is outside of that. There's no angle that gives you a sine bigger than 1. So it makes sense that there's no angle that would give you a sine of 1.36. Now the range of sine becomes the domain of inverse sine. And that's why when you hit enter, your calculator says, wait, that's a domain error. It understands that you can't plug in a number um, bigger or smaller than negative 1 into inverse sine. But you need to understand what's going on here so you understand why that's not possible and not just that there's something wrong with your calculator or something wrong with the question. That's something that you're supposed to see.